<clears throat> Hello, once once more YouTubers. Here we go. Here we go. This is uh, what I call um, hamburger meat with an egg and cheese noodles. This is my my special recipe. I mean, you're gonna like it. This is very simple. I you put the chopped meat in there. I just did it before, earlier, and then drop the egg on top of it. And as as you can see, I got uh, I'm doing the I'm doing the cheese noodles now. Now, now be careful not to overdo it on the cheese noodles because they might be a little cheesy. But uh, I mean that's basically uh, you can add a little Maria cookie if you want. Let you add some little bit of sugar. A little Maria cookie is um it is it's really it's really look at that, it's cooking. I'll show you I'll show you, I'm not done yet, but I'll show you how this is gonna come out. It's amazing. I just started. See, so, so here's the three um, cookies. It's just three cookies, right? The three Maria cookies, right? You come very simple. See, as you can tell, it's so simple. I'm doing this one-handed, see? So, uh, I'm holding the camera with my right hand, and with the left hand, I'm doing this. You see? So it's very simple cooking. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it, too. <laughs> you does, you're going to love it. It's something that I learned from my, you know, most people tell you they learn these recipes from their grandparents or their grandma or whatever. This is something I just learned from just... Uh, on is experimenting myself. I didn't learn it from my grandpa or grandma. It's something that I, I do. See, as you can see, you can see how I'm chopping. You gotta have a lot of patience, you know, when you do that. Um, and it's all one-handed. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, a lot of people think they can't cook one-handed, but cooking one-handed is not as hard as it seems, you know. Well, you know, especially if you want to record and share this with your friends on a video. Oh, oops, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, you gotta be careful. Because the walk, or, you know, will walk, you know, and and uh, uh, you know, just kind of jump back and forth, you know. But that's okay. I mean, oh, it come out good, you know. It's like, well, there you go, there you go, there you go. See, chop it up. Yeah, see the egg in the middle, chopping it up. See how that? See, see how? See, see how it's coming together? See, this is. I mean, you'll love this recipe. This recipe is uh, something I learned by practice. I mean, I, I mean, actually, I, um, I. <laughs> Well, the only practice I had is today. Actually, this is the first time I'm trying it. <laughs> this is the first time I'm trying this recipe. <laughs> yeah, very good. And here it is. You see, you cook and see how it's coming along. Kind of it's coming together. Sort of like there. There you go. There you go. Chop all the cheese doodles, the eggs in the middle. Now, whoa, 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 flip it. Oh, there you go. That's it. You got to flip it, flip it like, whoa, whoa. Flip it like it's a... Uh, like a wow, you flip it like that, and you flip it like a, like a, you know, oh, flip it, flip it like it was a, you know, you got a ground beef, you know, you cook it, I mean, it's coming out, um, I mean, you gotta get a little bit of, you, know, you can add salt if you want, you can add pepper, I don't really usually do salt or pepper, I mean, I mean, I, you could if you want to, you know, it's a, there you go, a little simmer, we're gonna let it simmer for a little bit, you know, a few minutes, you know, I'm gonna see if I got Oh, okay. If you want to add some spices to it, here we go. Add some spices. You know, you get this. You get. I got a pepper. You know, you got a pepper. You have. You notice I switch hands, right? I got a pepper here, and the pepper. Oh my God, that's a stubborn pepper. You know, one hand. Okay, okay. There you go. Oh, there you go. Look at that pepper. Look at that pepper. Look at the size of that pepper. Look at that. It's amazing. I mean, wait a minute. What's going on here? I don't like that part right there. Need to chop that out. Okay, let's rinse it up a little bit here. There you go, there you go. Look at the side of that pepper. Look at that. Look at that. that, that look at that. One handed, man. This is a, yes, you too can do one handed cooking. You know, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You know, it's a, and mind you, uh, like I said, oh, you see that? You want to take the sticker off, you know, from the label, from the, from the sticker, from the pepper, you know, the, where you bought the pepper from. A little tough, you know, one hand. Eh, eh, it came out. Look at that. It came out. Amazing, you know. So that basically is, um, you put it in. Boom. There you go. Bang. There you go. See that? Uh, that's in there, too. You know, now a little, little, little spicy flavor on that with that. Now, see, now you want to chop the pepper a little bit, too. You want to chop the pepper. The pepper, you want to... Um, it gets a little stubborn sometimes, but, you know, there you go, it's a little pepper, there you go, oh man, this is going to be delicious, man, 
can't wear this. Now this is um, uh, it's more for like for two people. It's more for like two people, but um, you know, Grandma she doesn't eat anything, and you know, she doesn't probably eat anything. All she eats is cereal all day. But um, but I don't know. Maybe she'll try it. I doubt if she try it. I don't know. So that I just um, I have my portion, and then um, I'll save the rest for tomorrow maybe because they'll be so delicious. You know, you know what you know what they say about leftovers. Woo, delicious. Uh, uh, oh, see that, see that. Oh, you didn't see it. Did I miss? Did I move the camera? Oh man, that's sometimes that happens. You know, you gotta go with the flow. You gotta go with the flow. You see? Have you noticed that? Oh, there you go. You notice how this is getting cooked, right? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Now, you could also you eat this by itself if you want. You got the cookies, you know, you did the marine, I see, I, I read, you like, it's, it's all according to taste. If you want to add another marine cookie, that's okay. I'm going to put one more. There you go. One more cookie. There you go. One and a half. Ah, I'll eat that one. Mmm, mmm. That's good. There's a little sweetness to this. Mm, no, oh, sorry. Sorry, did I move the camera? Um, they say, you know... You, you, know, you shouldn't really talk with your mouth full, but when you're a chef and you got and you're trying to show a new dish, you know, to somebody, and you and you're trying to demonstrate and talk about all the techniques that you're taking to do the the specific dish, you know, plate. I mean, you have to, you know, the chef have to taste the food, so it's kind of hard to 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 hard to not to 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 talk and. And and not you know and not talk and, and it's hard kind of hard to taste the food and not be able to talk at the same time because of course you want me to tell you exactly how the procedure I'm taking to do this uh, cooking uh, uh, dish. Wow, this is coming along great, man. I mean now this is the, now the potential of this is is very is, is very is extremely large. You could use this. That's a meat sauce for the spaghetti, you know, you throw down some spaghetti and boom, bang, you put it in a little boiling water, bang, and then you put it, you know, right over, right over here, you know, and um, and then you can do that, spaghetti with the meat sauce, and, and I mean, yeah, you put some tomato on it, I, I usually put ketchup, ketchup is, is just amazing, you know, or salsa valentina, now salsa valentina is a little spice for you guys, if you guys don't know what salsa valentina is, Salsa Valentina is a spicy sauce from Mexico. It's one of the best salsa I think I hear that so that you can use for cook, for uh, for tacos and stuff like that. So you can actually make a taco out of this, you know. You could do some tacos here on this. You could stuff it on uh, on some, like an arepa. Now arepa is a is a, like a pastry kind of. It's like a bread with cornbread that you make with um, corn flour, you know, and. It, that's really good. You stuff it, and then you can put in some cheese on it. Now, of course, you don't want to put the cheese here with while the meat is cooking because, because um, yeah, it just you know it's gonna melt too much. I mean, you could sprinkle some of the shredded cheese on top. Today, I don't have any shredded cheese, so that we won't be doing any shredded cheese. I mean, we're almost done with this dish. You know, you see how oh, see how see how it's sizzling. You see the way it's sizzling. You, did you can you can you pay attention? Look at that. Are you are you are you watching this? Look at this. And now, who would have known that this would have turned out on such a delicious uh, dish in a, just a matter of minutes? You know, I mean, I'm almost done. This is um. Now, mind you, I'm doing this one-handed again because here, see, this is the hand. This is the hand I'm doing. Uh, and the other hand is holding the the camera, right? So now I'm gonna switch hands again, just to you know, just, just to try it out, uh, just to try something different, you know. Uh, well, yep, yeah, you can see, you can tell that's my weak hand. See, I'm a left-handed guy. Let me let me switch back. Oh man, I hope I don't drop the camera in the stove. I mean, that you, <laughs> one of the things that you don't want to do is add flavor to your dish with the electronic device you're holding. You know, you don't you don't want to do that because I don't know, it might melt the electronic device. It's not I don't think it's the right taste that you're looking for on your on your dish, you know? 
But um, there you go. See, look at that. Oh my God, this is oh, this is so delicious. And I, and I only did one egg. I wonder if I should put two eggs on it. That's okay. I mean, you you could do two eggs if you want. You know, you can try to do that and makes it more the uh, appealing, more delicious. You know, whoa, 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 oh, look at that. That is cooking to the rim, baby. That is, look, you see the sizzle? You see the sizzle? Do you see that? Can you actually witness this sizzle on this dish? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So um, try it. I think I'm almost done. Uh, I hope you like it. This is, I'm going to call this, um, uh, um, uh, uh, this is this dish is gonna be le peperici orange uh, a la a la carne with beef. There you go. So it's beef a la carne. So beef a la carne. If you guys, uh, you know, you, you can watch this video anytime you want. Um, let me know if you like it after you taste it. Um, the if you if you if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, everybody's got different tastes, right? But um. Let me know if you like it. If you have any suggestions of what, how I can make this dish more more delicious, well, you can just, um, you know, text me. Um, uh, give me on uh, your comments, you know, tell me, give me some ideas. I'm always open to ideas. All right, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and enjoy. Happy eating.